Well, hello there, Tinkercad friends. I'm back with another cool Code Blocks lesson. It has been a while since we did Code Blocks. Let's click the little button and let's get cracking. A real quick reminder, if you've made lessons, they will be down below the starters. We want to do a brand new design, so click on new design and we're going to make a sweet holiday card. This one's going to be for Mother's Day. So I'm going to click up on the name and change to card for mom. If it's a different holiday, you can make a different card at that time. Start by doing create new object and dropping it in place. Choose the rename and we're going to rename this as the card. Cards are made of rectangles, so let's go to our shapes and bring out a box. When you bring out the box, pick a color you think is nifty. I'm going to make mine light pink and then we've got to put in some measurements for it. I recommend you use my numbers, but as you play, you'll be able to make these as cool as you want. For starters, I'm going to tell you 80, 120, and then I only want it to be 2 millimeters thick. And then I'm going to leave the rest, the settings. When you hit play, you'll see your little card show up on the screen. That's a good start for a card, but don't forget, it is, if we look at it from the front, at 0, 0, so it's a little bit below ground. We're going to fix that with a move command. And remember, we made it two millimeters thick, so we need to change Z by one millimeter or half of the other height. When we hit play this time, it is raised up all the way above, and we can hit the middle of top and front to see our card. Now that we've got the front of our card, let's add some words. Find the shapes button and bring out the text option. We need to click the little arrow and where it says text, let's change it to say happy. Also, I want our text to be two for its height value. I'm going to pick an amazing color. I'm going to use the bright pink. And then also I know I need to move it up. And we need to move it up at least two plus the thickness of it. Hit your modify, hit your move. And this time we are going to type the number two so that it jumps up and when we hit play we will have the word happy up on top of our screen. Notice it is too large and it's too low. We're going to fix that by typing a 30 for the Y and then we're also going to bring in the cool command called scale. This scale allows us to shrink it in the X. Let's try 0.8 or 0.7 and see if that works when we hit play. Our card quickly animates and our word shows up right where we want it. All right, friends, are you ready for this? Your second word, you simply detach the first word, do control C and control V and drop it down below. We need to change its location. Let's make it happen at zero instead of positive 30. And of course you need to type mothers or whatever holiday you're celebrating. And then I'm gonna pick a different color Mother's is longer, so I'm going to guess that I have to go 0.6. Let's hit play and see what our cute little card looks like. Boom! Just like that. We are rolling. Let's do the last one. Once again, control C and control V. I'm going to pick another amazing color. This time I'm going to do bright yellow and let's type the word day. This one I can make larger because it's only a few letters, so I'm going to try and leave it even at one. But I am going to change its location. Instead of zero, I'm going to go negative 30 on the Y so it comes closer to the front. Let's hit play and see what we've made. Boom. You've got the front of a simple Mother's Day card. Let's make our card a little more epic by adding our names to the back. Once again, I'm going to break that apart. Do control C and control V drop them together again and make a new color for the word love that I'm going to put on the back because of course you got to tell your mom love and then put your name. When you do the love we need to break these parts away. We need to put the scale first. We need to make this a positive 30 and then we've got to bring in a special rotate command. Find your move, find your rotate and then we need to flip it backwards and we're going to do that by choosing Y and 180 degrees. Make sure you type 180 correctly, <laughs> unlike me. Find the math command and drop in that zero, zero for the location we rotate around. Bring your move in place 
and change that Z to zero because this will connect right to that location. When we hit play, check it out. We get to see Happy Mother's Day draw. Notice I switched my speed to super fast. That makes it quicker as I build them and then look behind. There is the word love right where we expect it to be. I'm going to grab that cool piece of text, do my control C, control V, connect them together, switch the color. This time I'm going to use a blue. And of course, you got to put your name down there, M I K E, or whatever your name is. This one is going to happen at the zero location, and everything else is good to go. Hit your play and double check. It turns out just the way you thought it should. Boom. Epic card, super fast. All right, so at this point, friends, we need to take our sweet card and we need to make it into a group. Make sure that you have the multicolor enabled because we want to keep all those awesome colors. And then it is super cool if we stand our card up so it's easier for mom to see. We're going to rotate around X with an axis of 90. And then we need to track down the little math command and we need to put a special Y. We need to do negative 60, which you will double check, is half of the 120 we did for our length. Let's hit play and see how it looks. Pop, 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 pop card gets grouped and here it is standing up how awesome is that well we're gonna make it a little bit more awesome we're gonna make it rotate automatically as well you could choose to be done right here but I want to make mine animate so let me show you how I'm gonna do that I'm gonna create a new object and I'm going to rename it as animate once you get your animate in place, we need to make a nifty little variable that's going to help us rotate. I'm going to change its name to n, which is what I want to use for the variable's name. And I'm going to put a 15 in there for my first number. I'm going to quickly use the add a copy of an object command. And then I have to go down to the data and find my object, which is going to be the card. Because I added that copy, I can now delete the original card. Once again, moving to the data and putting that in the box. And that is the first step to letting me animate it. I'm going to use a sweet repeat command, simply dropping it in. And then we need to rotate around this location. Remember, the rotate is in the purple modify. We are going to rotate around Z. I want to change that degrees by my variable n, which you can grab from your data location. And then we need to do the location, which remember is the negative 60. You can experiment with other numbers to see how it could move about your screen. We need to pick how many times we're going to rotate. I'm going to rotate 15 times. And then I need to increase my variable n with the amazing change item command. Instead of the word item, we want to pick our variable, and then we want to pick our number. I'm using 15, and click that angle, top angle, whichever you pick, or even look at it from the front. When you hit play, your cool card will completely build itself. It will stand up, and then it will rotate around. So your mom can see that not only have you made a card, but you have also used your cool coding skills to sign it. You can share your card with your mom by sending her a screenshot, or even better yet, you can send an animated GIF of the entire project happening. Notice I can tilt and zoom to get the perfect view. If I wanted to see it from the corner, I could switch, but I like that front view as it's making it. Make sure you're patient as this takes quite a while. I did 5x speed so that way it could package and be done a little bit quicker for you to watch. Mine took a little more than a minute, but now it's letting me pick where I want to download. It's going to say card for mom GIF, and I can hit save, and then I can put that in an email for my mom to see. 
friends, I hope you found this totally useful. I hope you had a lot of fun as we were working on it. I hope you came up with something that you can share with your mom and even make it more custom than I did. If you enjoyed the lesson, please hit that like button. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.